everyone, I am Harbinger here, and today we will be exploring Mother Miranda, who may be the latest addition to the Resident Evil universe, but her influence stretches all the way back to the beginning of the franchise, being instrumental to the B.O.W.s that would start multiple global pandemics and hundreds of thousands dying, all in the pursuit of a personal goal. So let us explore Mother Miranda, and remember to hit that like button, subscribe, and check out all the links below for more Resident Evil content. Mother Miranda may look young, but she is old, very old, having a daughter in 1909 named Ava. Unfortunately, in August of 1919, Miranda's village would get hit with the Spanish flu, leading to Ava's death. When grieving, Miranda wandered into a cave north of the village when following the river. Fully intending to die in the cave with her daughter, she discovered the fungal superorganism called the Megamycene. This infection granted her the memories of everyone who was stored and consumed by the Megamycene, which greatly increased her intelligence. It also consumed her daughter's body fully. This included new abilities such as shapeshifting, regeneration, control over other infected, and the ability to mimic the voices of those she shapeshifts into. With this knowledge, Miranda became obsessed with the idea of using the Megamycene to revive her daughter since her memories were now stored inside the organism like everyone else consumed by the Megamycene. However, a host would be required to store Ava's memories and hence began Miranda's long campaign to revive her daughter. Using this newfound knowledge, Mother Miranda would install herself into the village as a deity to better use them for experiments, protecting them and when she gained their trust, injecting them with the Kadu parasite which was fashioned from the Megamycene's roots and parasitic nematodes. Those who adapted were given positions of power called lords like Alcina Demetrius who increased in her height, gained sharp claws, and immortality but requiring large amounts of human flesh and blood to maintain it. Ah, oh, shit! Like I'd let you get away. You'll be sliced to ribbons before you ever see me, child. Donna Benavito gained the ability to secrete pollen from mold infested plants that caused hallucinations. Oh, you're still alive, huh? <laughs> If all my friends murder you! <laughs> Tick tock! Your life's up, bye Wait! Mondu was heavily infected but maintained much of his humanity. He became a fish man who could survive in the most dangerous aquatic environments. However, the infection also meant he couldn't maintain his human form and would eventually mutate into a hybrid that cannot maintain a homo sapien form anymore. You're pathetic. <laughs> What are you talking about? What the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> and the most successful being Carl Heisenberg, who was able to control pure metal from using the electromagnetic field generated by his organs. You're not local. Even better. Mother Miranda is gonna love you. <laughs> Mother 
None of them were perfect for Ava's new body and were deemed failures, prompting Miranda to encourage Ethan to kill them all through clever manipulation, using her shapeshifting ability to take on the form of the hag, a local woman the villagers deemed unhinged but devoted to guide Ethan through the village unknown to Ethan. You would think after the Baker incident, Ethan wouldn't trust the old ladies anymore. I mean, look what happened with Evelyn. During the 1950s, Mother Miranda, who mentored and met Oswald Spencer, one of the co-founders of the Umbrella Corporation. Miranda would share her research and on the mold, but Spencer deemed it unfit for his larger plans as eugenics, as Miranda was only focused on bringing back Ava. Spencer would continue his research into viruses, believing they were a better means of transporting his more long-term goals, but value his time with Miranda, even telling her about the progenitor virus he discovered in Africa and using the local symbol as the umbrella logo. After decades of research, Miranda would be approached by the crime syndicate, The Connections, who offered their aid in exchange for her knowledge on the Megamycene. The Connections, with the help of Miranda, would create the E-type bioweapon, Evelyn, who would eventually destroy the tanker she was being transported in, infecting the Bakers, and leading to the events of Resident Evil 7. Evelyn was a bioweapon created by an infected embryo with the mold being imbued into her being. With the bioweapon taking the form of a child, it would be easy for the weapon to infiltrate the enemy, infect the surrounding area, and grant the weapon full control over those infected as seen with the Bakers in Resident Evil 7. Despite Evelyn being somewhat of a success, she was still deemed a failure to Miranda due to her rapid aging and poor mental state. With her unhealthy obsession on creating a family that suits her own needs and disposing of anyone who she disagreed with, making her unpredictable as a weapon and an unsuitable host for Ava. All of this information is available in Miranda's lab, which is open to everyone. This is likely due to the fact that it's hidden below the Mega Mycene, and it's likely Miranda never expected anyone would make it that far, but Chris was able to successfully infiltrate Miranda's laboratory, where she kept Mia showcasing her own hubris. While many perished during the events of Resident Evil 7, Ethan Winters, Zoe Baker, and Mia survived the events. Chris Redfield, who would save Ethan Winters and Mia, would place Mia and Ethan into witness protection, believing that the connections would still search for them considering that Mia was a former agent of them and Ethan survived the events, sending them to Europe to live new lives where Mia and Ethan would eventually marry and have a little girl named Rosemary. Miranda would learn of this through the connections, Demon Rose to be the perfect vessel for Ava. This is because she knows that Ethan is a perfect mold vessel as he was killed by Jack Baker during the events of Resident Evil 7, but at the same time revived by that same infection. Despite receiving the cure, the mold mel melded perfectly with Ethan's body, allowing him to sustain fatal blows and reattach severed limbs, but Ethan was unaware of this, just simply dismissing every encounter he had that highlighted how he was more durable than everyone else. Ethan was everything that the connections were trying to achieve, but Rose was perfect in every way since she carried both Ethan and Mia's genes. She was, in all essence, the perfect example of what the connections wanted all along in Evelyn, but now in Rose. Miranda would eventually kidnap Mia and take her place within Ethan's home, with Ethan noting how she was acting strange during this entire period, with the game opening up with Miranda telling Ethan her entire plan without him knowing. Chris, learning of Mother Miranda's plan, decided to attack Ethan's home immediately with a rogue squad of soldiers called Hound Wolf Squad. Chris, not sure if Ethan is infected with Miranda's parasite and believing Miranda was killed, transports all of them in one car, allowing Miranda to take them by surprise, posing as a corpse, kidnap Rose, and begin her plan to revive Eva. After Ethan kills all the lords, Miranda would explain her entire plan to belittle the father and show how little control Ethan actually had in the situation and how she was manipulating him from the start. Mia? Our child. She's so important, isn't she? She's everything to me. <laughs> and mine to me. With Heisenberg gone. You've lost your lead. What are you going to do? I don't know, but I'm saving Rose. You'd never know, do you? 
Even when I took Mia's place in your home. Poor Ethan. Who are you? Where's Rose? <laughs> <laughs> Enough. Remember Evelyn and her power over them all? Rose is her successor. No. Rose is Evelyn's true, complete form. She will grow to fully control the masses. And I must have her. Fuck you, you crazy bitch! <laughs> <laughs> Calm yourself. Rose will be saved. The Mega My Seat catalogs all of us. However, she will be reborn as my daughter. She's my child, not yours. Where are you? Show yourself! Why did Rose come to be? Was it because of her parents? And you are truly a special. But I've learned all I can from you. Your worth as a lab rat has run out. Miranda! You coward! Come on and face me! Don't worry. Your death will come quick. You will join the Mega My Suits records. I will make sure to sample your blood for later. Once dawn breaks, the ceremony will be complete, and I will become her true mother, bound for eternity in blood. <laughs> This same hubris would be her downfall. When reviving Ava, Miranda would use a large amount of energy. Most significantly, it was Rose who was revived, not Eva. It's not explained why, but my guess is that Eva was dead for too long and couldn't return to her body, whereas Rose was still technically alive when she was consumed by the fungus. Miranda's regeneration had reached its limits due to this process and like Ethan, was on borrowed time, allowing Ethan to kill Miranda as she continued to change forms, adding to the stress that her body was already enduring. Ethan would come out successful, but choose to stay to finish off Miranda, knowing that he's basically at death's door, while Chris took Rosemary and Mia to leave the area. Miranda now fused with the Megamycene, completely launches one last attack in her madness, but dies thanks to Chris's planted explosives. And that's the end of Mother Miranda's story. Despite being introduced in Resident Evil Village for the first time, she was one of the most deadly and cunning villains in the Resident Evil universe. She had a hand in the biggest disasters in the game's universe, being the vanguard for BOWs and even Umbrella itself, all for the hope that she could revive her daughter. In retrospect, she was responsible for the T-Virus, the G-Virus, Wesker coming up with Ouroboros. Everything traces back to Oswald Spencer, who learned all of this through Miranda, making her just as responsible as all those horrible people. Regardless, Ethan was still able to come out successful and Rose is now alive. It's unclear how Rose will deal with this entire situation. I already have my theories out on my ending explain which you should totally watch. And I, my explanation is that she's a combination just like with Mother Miranda absorbing the knowledge of everyone in the Mega My Scene, so did Rose. So she's most likely a combination of Ethan. Ava, Mother Miranda, and all the other people who are absorbed by the Mega My Scene, including Evelyn. But we'll have to wait until Resident Evil 9 to fully find out, maybe in four to five years. But until then, uh, thank you for watching. I know that your time is valuable. Please check out the rest of my Resident Evil content. I did work hard on these lore videos, and it would mean the world to me if you would check them out. Till next time, everyone, thanks for joining me, and stay awesome. Sit down. Where is he? Chris? What have you done? He's gone. That's right. 
He stayed so we could all escape. I'm sorry. Captain. You need to see this. BSAA didn't send soldiers. This is a bioweapon. What the hell were they thinking? Orders, Captain. Pick up the rest of the squad. Plot a course for BSAA Europe HQ. Someone's got to pay. 